Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. Content is intended to provide accurate information, however, is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult a financial, legal, or tax professional for specific information regarding your individual situation. Opinions expressed and provided are for general informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program. This is Protect and Grow Chicagoland Retirement with Chicagoland's Certified Financial Planner, CFP resource for savers and investors taking their planning and their financial future seriously. He is Tim Stearns, President Founder of TJ Stearns Inc. Tim, welcome back to the program. Peter, thanks again for having me. Always a pleasure, Tim. We appreciate the time and the guidance and perspective that you provide to Chicagoland area savers and investors. And we obviously have a lot of questions now more than ever, Tim. But uh, Absolutely. Uh, even, even without the current situation, I think there were always a lot of questions. And it seems like now the 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 onus of planning for retirement, the burden of making sure that we have a secure retirement is really on our shoulders now more than ever. I couldn't agree more. I mean, with ERISA in 1974, you know, that, that everyone is in 401ks now. It seems like, uh, you know, I, I remember the stat from one of our classes, uh, 10 years ago, there was over 250 companies with pensions and we're down to 50. Mm. Most of those are insurance companies. But anyway, my point is this, is that these people now need to know how to make that dollar stretch. You know, because when they're done working, like my brother, my brother just uh, got bought out in his company and, you know, that's it. He's not going to put more money into the pot. So he needs to grow it, but keep it safe. I mean, it's a, a catch 22, if you will. Yeah, well, ERISA stands for Employee Retirement Income Security Act, because <laughs> we know that the government loves those acronyms. Um, Absolutely. But it essentially established the 401k, and as a byproduct of that, Tim, the, the pension slowly went on the endangered species list and, and then extinct. So did ERISA really work as titled to make employees' retirement income more secure? Uh, no, quite to the contrary. I mean, I, you know, especially with what just happened in the market, I mean, people got scared. I know a lot of our, our clients were calling up, making sure that we still had our income allocation plan in, in place, which we do. And when they do that, they sleep better at night. That's the end of the story because asset allocation has failed uh, every consumer for six times in the last 20 years. You know, why would you keep doing that? Asset allocation is essentially the status quo. It's the traditional model that yeah. planning for retirement based on our own investment assets is now based upon, correct, Tim? That's totally correct. And it's, it's back asward. It does not work. Can I say back asward? I think you can. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just, you know, um, how many times do you have to touch the stove to know that it's hot? You know what I mean? And, and, uh, and I've told you this before, but my wife's a, a psychology teacher. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And th people keep putting their money in the market. Oh, it's going to go up at some point. Well, you know, what if it doesn't? And then more importantly, you can't pay your bills. And now you're taking money out of something that fell uh, back in March, 30%. Well, Tim, the market has gone up over time, but at any given moment, we cannot guarantee what direction it's going to go. And those downturns seem to happen unexpectedly. And, and <laughs> when we're counting and relying on the market to produce what we need to be consistent, those irregular downturns in the market, market volatility can be upsetting to our lifestyle. Absolutely. And, and you know, if you, you know, I, I know that I've had certain clients call and like, oh my gosh, I should have given you all my money because they took a hit. And, you know, it, if they're in a 401k, more than likely they don't have the ability to, to reach out to other areas that would be safe without being in cash only. Right. And then their, their money's not growing. So yeah. you got to kind of have your best of both worlds and there's a whole way to do it. And we, and we, and we show them that. Not, not fantastic options inside of 401ks, not no. a lot of, of, of spectrum of choices there. But if you would like to reach out to Tim Stearns and, and learn about some strategies, some products, ways that you can position your money in order to 
have more forward progress, protect some of your principal, get some growth, set it up for replacing that pension that used to be available to support retirement. Pick up the phone and give a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, with the decline of pensions, you know, thinking about this, retirees uh, in, in the baby boom generation have only most of us, one source of guaranteed income, which is social security. The previous generation had two. They had the pension and the social security. This has now cut our guaranteed income in half. Right. And, and what we do in our uh, retirement classes, when we're teaching at the different schools in the area, we show them a stool, you know, and then has pension, social security, and savings. Well, guess what? If you take out the pension, what happens to the stool? It's very unstable. You fall down. We just, and we illustrate that point because we have to show them where are you going to get your guaranteed income from, you know, especially if, if your portfolio took a 30% hit Absolutely. in March, you know? Yep. Well, Tim, that pension was, again, a, a source of stability for the, the, the generation that retired with the luxury of having them. Uh, however, we are where we are now for the majority of the careers of, of folks who are now into that transition into retirement. They've had the 401k. So how do we figure out how much savings it requires to replace the security that the pension once offered? It's, it's really simple. And, and that's why, I, you know, Pete, can I do an offer? Absolutely. And, and Pete, I'd like to offer the book Income Allocation by my good friend, David Gaylor. Um, the book explains exactly what we're talking about here is getting an income that you can't outlive, you know, and, and, and you have to make sure that you plan for your spouse too. So it's a whole different process than what people are used to. I mean, they're going to be net seller of assets. They will always make sure that the money can last. Well, if you would like a copy of that book, Income Allocation, that explains the structure of the plan that is intended to help you take uh, your asset and take the risk of the market out of that, replace that, and turn it into the type of predictable income that the pension once provided, pick up the phone and give a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, that book, Income Allocation, really is an essential retirement planning strategy guidebook for this generation. It is being used across the country by planners, by savers, by investors, and by advisors who are looking to teach those savers and investors how to structure the assets to reduce or eliminate unnecessary risks in retirement, the biggest being running out of money. Right. And I, I think that's what keeps people up at night. Um, they, they, uh, they'll say, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Well, I mean, let's work in the know, you know, K N O W knowing that you're going to be okay. The, the certification that you'll be okay. Um, that's what an income allocation plan does. Um, I've noticed, I'd say 90% of the public do not have these plans and it's scary. They're just going to kind of wing it in retirement. It's crazy. You know, you, you would never just wing it when you're building a house Well, your retirement's just as important. You would have a blueprint for your house. Well, what is your blueprint for retirement? Again, if you would like to take a look at how to structure that blueprint, how to build the plan, how to build the foundation for your retirement, how to transition the assets, our life is going to go through a transition when we move to retirement. Our money will have different needs. And we worked for our money uh, during our working career. During retirement, we've got to make sure that the money works for us to provide us that income. If you'd like to see how to make that transition with your dollars, pick up the phone, give certified financial planner, Tim Stearns, a call, come in for that complimentary review, even a virtual meeting, or just get started by requesting that book income allocation, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. Now, Tim, we've sort of been negative about the, the 401k, but there are some benefits during our career when we have the security of a paycheck, it can be a beneficial vehicle. And in fact, it really is a beneficial vehicle for the majority of people who are participating and taking part in it. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, if you will, it's a necessary evil, right? So, I mean, it makes saving automatic. There's higher contribution limits compared to many other options like IRAs and that type of thing and Roths. Tax advantages are huge. 
access to the markets, making progress when you otherwise might not, uh, growth potential, flexibility, which is huge, control over your contribution levels. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're always dollar cost averaging, you know, and the benefit to that is that you're always, you know, you're, you're constantly putting money into the market. And again, at that point, you're not a net seller of assets. Yeah. But when you do retire, obviously something needs to be done with your 401k that's more robust, strategic, tactical, that type of thing. In the absence of a pension, Tim, this is one of the best options that we have. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Uh, and you have to do it. Um, I always tell people if you can, uh, you know, they're doing means testing on uh, Medicare. So if you can put some money away in this uh, Roth, uh, you know, 401k, those are outstanding. That doesn't count against you with that means test. Absolutely. Not at all because you're not bringing, it's not taxable income. Social and security people, also can be taxable in retirement, but if absolutely we, up to 80% could be right. But if we have money in that Roth side of things, that tax absolutely. free side, again, right. Tim, multiple benefits there. I agree hundred percent. And that's, I advocate for that. Obviously your match is going to be on the profit sharing side. So that's going to be taxable down the road, but you know, at least you're getting free money is what everyone says. Um, so I, I, I love the 401k. I will say this though, Peter, when I have someone who's 59 and a half, I make sure we reach out to see if we can um, move their money into something that we can self-direct because, you know, my, my offerings are, are much better than anything that they have in their mutual funds and that type of thing. Cause we'll go to cash when, when things happen, like in March, you know, we'll, we'll actually go pivot right into cash versus a mutual fund will not do that. And I think that's one of the, the biggest downsides of the 401k is that we don't have that type of strategic or, or tactical oversight. We don't have anyone managing it for us. Again, all of this falling onto our own shoulders for responsibility. We've got to be smart enough. We've got to be paying attention to do that, Tim. And, and one of the, the things about the 401k is that it's out of sight, out of mind. It is specifically set up and intended to be set it and forget it. When we've got that quality, we also forget to do certain things that we probably need to be paying attention to. Exactly. Um, and that's why, you know, we, we try to help people take a look at their 401ks. But again, they're over 59 and a half. I'm going to make sure that we get them in something that's better than what they're currently having. You know? Tim, because at 59 and a half, there is an opportunity, even if yes. we're still working for a company, even if we're still contributing to a plan, to actually take control over the money that we've built up to that point. That is correct. And then, you know, uh, you know, and let's talk about some of the limitations to a 401k, if you, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, a couple of things to your point, limited choices. You know, most 401k plans have a relatively limited menu of investment choices. Yeah. Um, there's administrative costs. People don't know how much they're paying. Uh, you know, they, they think uh, one of the stats that we say in our classes is that seven out of 10 people think that they don't pay to have their money in a 401k and they definitely do. Um, the yeah, those companies aren't, aren't nonprofits. No, my gosh, no, run, no. Run the 401ks. Right. And then you have the inability to move funds. You know, folks often find that they prefer to invest their 401k money differently, but in many cases, their money is trapped in the 401k, in, in the 401k until they leave the company. Yep. And then, you know, if you do decide to cash out your 401k, and I'm talking about taking cash in hand, I'm not advocating for this, but most companies will withhold 20% for taxes right off the bat with you. Yeah. The other thing that we see is vesting. You know, if you're with a company over five years, usually the money is yours. But, you know, some of the companies are a little bit slower on the draw. So you might only have like 20, 40, 60 percent that now, is vested. Go ahead. M most of that is the match, though. Right, right. Tim? I Absolutely. Mean, yeah, that's correct. Now, I, I've, I have always had a problem with the terminology free money. Right. Um, I, f I have found, Tim, that very little in life is free, especially money. Yeah, uh, there's strings. <laughs> well, it's, it's part of our compensation, but, but it's, it's part of our compensation that we only actually receive if we put some skin in the game. If we take some right. of our money and set it aside for retirement, the company being willing to match us, if they offer that match, will also put some money in on our behalf. Now, again, not free money. It's part of our compensation. We are entitled to it, but we only get it if we put some skin in the game. And then in addition to that, there is the vesting schedule where if we leave the company, we actually don't get what we were otherwise entitled to. Right, right. 
and and that's and that's a drawback. But I mean, they you know there's uh, with golden golden parachutes, right? That they want to hold on to you. Um, the other thing I will tell you is that you know there's little or no advice. Sure. You know, back in the day, maybe the HR person would have helped you pick a fund. Nowadays, they don't want to have that liability. So how do you know which one is is good to get? Um, and the other one thing I've noticed is that everyone's going in these target date funds like there's some silver bullet. Yeah. When the market fell down last month, <clears throat> it, it, it everything fell down, including those target dates. Yeah. You mentioned the word liability. It, it is a liability for the company to provide any kind of guidance or advice, and therefore they typically don't. And that's, Tim, why people receive so little, so infrequent oversight or guidance on what to do with those 401ks. Right. And, and, you know, they're, they're beholden to themselves and, and, you know, it's scary. And that's why we try to help some of our clients when they call in and they want to know what they start a new job and they want help. The one thing we have positioned ourselves to do is help them get their money from their old job out into a, a better IRA, you know, from their 401k, sure. <clears throat> especially if it's vested. I mean, it's a great opportunity to, to actually see the world and, and do better things with your money. So again, there are a couple opportunities to, to make sure that we remember where we can take more control over our financial outcome. And that is if we've left a job, we've got an old account uh, that, that we left behind or that we had built up at that previous employer. Um, or if we turn age 59 and a half, Tim, those are two key opportunities, benchmarks in our financial progress that we need to be taking some action. Yeah, if you're not aware of that, you, you need to be because, I mean, it's such an opportunity when you're 59 and a half. I mean, what if you took a hit, uh, you know, like in 2008 of 36% as you're about to retire? My, right. my gosh, you'd be absolutely in, in bad shape. So this is the type of stuff that we try to help people with, especially if you're over 59 and a half. Give us a call. We'll help you. Again, 800-640-2256, the number to call, 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, I've known some people with pensions, uh, known plenty of people with 401ks, but known a few folks who were lucky enough to have a pension. It always struck me the difference in conversation if you talk to those individuals about retirement. It's always in terms of income. If I work this number of years or I work till yeah. I'm this age, I will have this amount of income. Whereas with the 401k, it, the conversation is, is always surrounded uh, around the lump sum. I'm hoping to get to 500,000. I'm hoping to get to a million dollars. But really, even when they reach that, that lump sum goal, Tim, there is, there is no certainty that that lump sum will be able to produce the kind of income, uh, stable, reliable, dependable income that that pension uh, was able to produce. And, and as we have done this conversation, Tim, the similarity in your conversation, as we have done this program, the similarity in how you've talked about asset allocation versus income allocation really is, is a parallel there. hundred percent. And, and if you've ever looked at people who have pensions, they're happier in retirement. So if you're a person that has a 401k, you can create your own pension by using annuities, maybe a fixed income bucket, et cetera. But you'll have the, um, the stronghold of having a plan and that's half the battle. I think a lot of people go into it and they literally are trying to wing retirement and, you know, people are living longer and longer, you know, that's a long retirement when you're not on a pension. Tim, we're doing a lot more cooking at home these days. I don't know if that's happening in, in your household too. Anyway, oh, yeah. I, I tried to make chili recently. Um, and you know, I've made chili before. I'm pretty good at it. I got to the end of the process and, and went to taste it and realized that I had forgot to put in the chili powder. Uh, <laughs> all the other ingredients were in there, but in fact, the chili powder does make a difference in the final product. Absolutely. Uh, I say that because I feel like we're missing an ingredient with, with our financial outcome. We are missing the secret sauce or some part of the secret recipe that is going to allow us to get the final product that we intend when we retire. And, and really that is the income allocation component, transitioning those ingredients into retirement. I couldn't agree more. And that's why we're doing it. I'm so glad that uh, David Gaylor lets me uh, rep his, represent his book because the book 
I, I, everyone who's read it feels better afterwards. Well, Tim, and, I mean, you thought this book was pretty important. You wrote the forward to it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And David paid me well for it. I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, that's how much I love the book. And I mean, he's been um, unbelievable to help our clients have peace of mind by having an income allocation plan is absolutely huge. Well, again, if you would like to get that type of plan structured for your financial future, for your retirement, if you'd like to understand what that kind of plan can mean as you make the transition to retirement, pick up the phone and give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. If you'd like to start with the book, read that, get a little further information, do some research. Uh, Tim is making that available to 10 callers to today's program. Again, yep. just be one of those first 10 callers, 800-640-2256. Tim, the structure of income allocation, it's not just about, okay, we need to reposition these assets. It's actually about doing more with less. We can actually create more income than the traditional Wall Street projections uh, would, would indicate and addressing risks, reducing or eliminating some of the things that can upset our lifestyle in retirement. That's exactly right. What we do is we can do more with less, like you just said. Um, we'll show people, you know, you want to live on, I'm going to make up a number, $100,000 a year. The equivalent portfolio value that you would need if you're in asset allocation is, let's say, $3 million, And I can do it with a million dollars because we're using maybe an annuity, maybe a fixed income bucket, but then we're also being smart about where we're putting our money in the market so that when, the, when uh, things go... <laughs> Badly, we go to cash. You know, and, and I'm proud to say that we did that in March. You know, so those are the types of things. Now, if we if we had that need, and and your example there kind of just threw some numbers out, but a hundred thousand dollar need for income in retirement, we're also obviously going to have some other sources. Social Security going to be a big one. Even if we're lucky enough to have a pension, a lot of times, Tim, those two things in combination still don't equal what we intend to live off of or what we were used to living off of uh, during the years where we were earning a paycheck. And, and therefore, a, a lot of times there is a need to supplement. Income allocation helps us to be more efficient when we are creating that income. It's all about efficiency. When you're in retirement, you know, you don't want to spend more than you need to. Uh, and I, th I think <clears throat> having an income allocation plan absolutely helps to know exactly where you're going to get the money from. Well, again, structuring that plan, having that plan Absolutely. in writing, a written yeah. income plan. Tim, that helps us address several of the key risks that can derail retirement, the biggest of which running out of money. Yes, that's, that's obviously the, the top concern, but market risk, sequence risk, withdrawal rate risk. There's a number of different risks that are inherent when we begin to pull money out of our portfolio rather than uh, making deposits and contributing to those retirement accounts. And I, and I think that's why the book lends itself. It addresses all those issues. People are not you know, they go into retirement kind of blind, you know, and they don't know really what they're doing. They, well, they've they never hope, done it before. Exactly. And they hope it's going to be okay. And that's crazy. You don't want to hope anything when you're in retirement. Do you want to go back to work when you're 70 because you ran out of money? No one wants to do that. No. Right? So that's, that's half the battle is to show them how to get to the, the finish line. Well, I think there's no more important topic to discuss for retirement planning than how you will generate income throughout retirement. We don't live off the assets, ladies and gentlemen. We live off the income. Income planning is the process of taking the results of a, a lifetime of hard work and labor and, and saving and turning it into determining how much you need that to turn into for living into and throughout retirement to recreate that paycheck. If you'd like to understand that process, exactly how to position the assets to help you accomplish that goal, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. If you'd like the authoritative book on the subject of how to structure the retirement income plan, income allocation, again, that number 800-640-2256. Tim, that 401k, it's a valuable tool to help us make financial progress toward retirement. It's just probably not the best tool to get us through retirement. It's, it's not terribly efficient, especially if you take a loss when you, when you first retire. And that's another thing that's addressed in the book, sequence of returns risk. I ask people in Florida, Arizona, anywhere I'm teaching retirement classes, Illinois, of course, 
no one knows what it is. And then you explain it to them like, oh, wow, that'd be really bad if I retired into a bear market. Well, yeah. <laughs> you can't time it, right? So yeah. life happens. So you need to make sure that you're getting ahead of the things and planning for that. Well, we have a whole generation, in fact, generations to follow that have to wait until the end of their working career to even start to guess if they've done enough, if they've done the right things to be able to afford to retire. And, and then even after we retire, if we leave our investments in the traditional uh, investment model, the traditional Wall Street model, we still have a lot of guessing on our future financial security, a lot of uncertainty. And that's why income allocation is absolutely something that you need to find out more about. Tim Stearns is your resource, Chicagoland. Pick up the phone, give him a call, request the time to, to get an individual review, that strategy session, have that income allocation structured for your situation, or request the book so you can get started and get a better understanding. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Tim, uh, many workers, savers, investors across Chicago land uh, have, have done very well for themselves, but you feel that reading this book, having that income allocation has really given them a lot more financial confidence as they made the transition to retirement. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like my father always said, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. So make sure that you're being smart with it because you have a finite amount of money. It's a, you're going to be a net seller of assets if you have only a 401k. Make so, sure you have an income that you can keep depending on. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Again, Tim Stearns, your resource, Chicagoland. Give him a call, 800-640-2256, a certified financial planner willing to sit down with you, talk with you, meet you face-to-face -face or virtually in the comfort of your own home with the, the wonders of technology, uh, but making sure to pay particular attention, specific attention to your individual situation to help you achieve and accomplish your financial goals. 800-640-2256. He's looking forward to hearing from you. And Tim, always a pleasure speaking with you. Peter, thanks again for having me. Always a pleasure. Every time we get the opportunity to visit with Tim Stearns, that's all the time that we have for right now. He's looking forward to hearing from you. Give him a call, 800-640-2256. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner, Tim Stearns' full radio program on 890 WLS every Sunday at 11 a.m. and visit tjsterns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through TJ Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature, not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.